right, this is my 2001 GTI SeaDoo Bombardi. My uh, cable clamp had broke. What it is is that plastic piece that SeaDoo. This, this this little piece right here. All right, they made it plastic. I don't know why, but the other half is on the inside and water started leaking into my Sea-Doo so I have to replace that there's been a lot of videos wondering how to do this so here we go hold this phone right first I'm gonna work on this so first thing you want to do I already disassembled this and kind of worked on it so you want to unscrew the reverse cable don't lose none of your parts Backup some or no backup just in that. Right there. Alright, so then you want to unscrew this latch here. You have to remove all of this so you can remove that pla the broken plastic piece. Now it won't come out unless you take off all this little rubber and plastic. So as I did there, they had a couple pieces here here. Now this will come right out. So there's also a gasket on the inside of that uh, piece that goes inside so it doesn't allow it to leak. Now I already unscrewed the plastic so you guys don't have to see me fighting it. It did take a while and it was hard to do. What I went ahead and did was unscrewed everything and I pushed this cable, hold this right here, hold the phone right here. So I push this cable on the inside, see there. So it's easier to work. So therefore I removed it. Leave it there. And I got just some vice grips and I clamped both the outer piece and the inside piece and I just kind of like rolled it around. I didn't do it crazy tight. I don't want to damage the surrounding but I was able to break it free and now I could get to it and unscrew it. Now it still is a little tight, but it is turning. There we go. So it didn't I didn't understand it at first. I didn't know that the piece was broken because it doesn't look bad. I'll show it to you guys again. And then you really can't see it because it's connected to the whole housing or the brake, the reverse brake cable. So, but as I started examining it more, I could tell it was broken. Huh. It's already unscrewed, it just doesn't want to come out. Sorry for blocking the view, I just need to get it completely out. So therefore I could show you. But that's the gist of it all. I ordered the, uh, the actual cable lock. That's what it's called, a cable lock. On Amazon, 10 bucks. Uh, doing it myself, probably saved me a couple hundred bucks. Uh, as I do with all my other videos um, check them out I know not everybody drives a Toyota Prius but I changed the reverse window on a Toyota Prius as well uh, also towed a truck 
with my toe that I previously actually I pulled it out of the mud. But whatever. Just conversation while I try to take this piece out. It was already unscrewed. <laughs> Apologize. I, was, I just had to pull it out. So, I guess I was being soft about it. So, this piece here attached. Let's get it out of here. So, here we go. Here's the whole unit. And I'll go ahead and push that cable back through. Slide the new cable lock onto it. So, the washer I was saying, it's on the inside of here. Hold this again one more time. Actually, hold it right here. So, this, there's a gasket on the inside of this. There we go. You need this, don't lose it. It just goes right into the new cable lock and you slide it right into the hole and you reassemble all the parts back exact same way it was in the first place. Hopefully this video helped. Um, when you get to the process of unscrewing the cable lock, the broken part, uh, don't be discouraged. It does take time. Uh, it, I did have to fight it and when I, find, I tried tons of methods, I've t stuck needle nose flyers on the inside. I even stuck these little Cable clamps to try to open up and like twist. Nothing was working. Uh, until I used the vice grips and that actually loosened it. And then I was able to work it with my fingers. So that's my video for my 2001 GTI c Bombardi. I'll have it done up and running as soon as the piece comes in the mail. Um, awesome. There is a website where I do go get all my parts. I just typed in on Google a 2001 Cdu GTI, my my Cdu basically, and I went to parts and scrolled down to reverse cable lock. And I could actually show you the video here. Let's go into where the light doesn't mess it up too well. So here this page, and I mean, it's not tricky, it's not rocket science, so basically just break it down. See, so here's my make. My phone's a little blurry. GTI 2005. Went down to reverse. Journey, can you go and find this for me? There's one that says reverse. Why don't you just put it, the link in the description? <laughs> so here it is, you look for reverse. And you go down to here. And it has the actual part that you need. There it is. Number 22. I can actually order any assembly part for my CDU right here. I also did my propeller system and you basically just go down and look for the piece that you want so it was number 22 correct and there you go cable locks gives you the number that you need this is my CD of course don't go ordering this part 1099 on this page I did it on Amazon I'll get it sooner cheaper and it came with it also came with number 24 the half rings 
which are right there, number 24, half rings. Awesome, now I hope this video helped. Take care, YouTubers.